Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith. Today, I am talking about Santa Steps Out by Robert Devereaux. This is from Leisure Books, at least this edition is. This is a fairy tale for grown-ups. I'm just going to read, there's just a little bit of back cover copy that I think I'll read to try to avoid getting blamed for any potential spoilers. So this says, excuse me, his generosity is legendary. He has a team of flying reindeer, hordes of industrious helpers, and the love of boys and girls around the world. But what long forgotten, unholy urges are awakening in Santa's mind? Who was he before, and what will he become now? What is driving him into the evil clutches of a certain fairy? Will Christmas survive? Will any of us survive? Uh, so, that really doesn't tell you too much about what's going on here. Um, first of all, this is a retro review, because I don't believe this is in print any longer. Uh, after Leisure went under... Uh, this was printed by Deadite Press, I believe it was. I believe that's their name. But when I looked it up, uh, it seems like it's out of print from them as well. You can get, you know, secondhand copies, but I don't think uh, it is currently in print. So that makes this a retro review. Plus, this is from originally 1998. Um, this copy's from October of 2000 which is when I read it initially. So this is a reread for me. And um, I had I had rated it on Goodreads. I think probably when I first got on Goodreads, I sort of just went through and picked a bunch of random books and rated them, books that I'd read, of course, and rated them. Uh, this time, for the too long didn't watch, folks, I did give it, I don't remember what my original rating was. I didn't look. I gave this four out of five stars. Um, so this is a wild, wild book. It's uh, basically, I think I can tell you that the Tooth Fairy starts seducing Santa Claus. And Santa Claus starts having flashes of m memories, a life that he's forgotten. And this starts to affect Mrs. Claus, the elves, the Easter Bunny... Easter Bunny's in this. Um, but it's sort of this cascading effect. And this book is very pornographic. Um, and it's very satirical. It's very, depending on how you feel about these characters, it could be considered very blasphemous. Um, there's a lot of sex. There are a lot of euphemisms for sex and body parts and um, fluids. <laughs> um, <coughs> there are couplings that uh, your average person has never imagined. And it's when I initially read this back in 2000, I remember being sort of blown away by this. I hadn't read anything really. Um, that seemed so over the top. At least that's my recollection of it. Uh, reading it this time, I did find some things got a little bit repetitive. Uh, there were points, and again, it could just be my mood at the time that I was reading it this time, but there were points where it was like, okay, here's another sex scene. Um... And while the author, Robert Devereaux, did try to do something different with each one, um, when it came to the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, uh, I'm not going to get into any of the other characters and permutations of things that go on. Those are all generally uh, new, but the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus do it so often that it's, uh, there was just a point where I was just kind of like, ah, here we go again. Um, so I think that's what keeps it at a four and not up to a five, but um, absolutely an enjoyable book. I really like it. It's, it is wild and over the top 
It doesn't really become horror until the end. There are, I suppose, a few tiny horror elements sprinkled out throughout, but it's more of this sort of erotica and character drama, psychodrama. Um, I initially thought, before I uh, checked my paperback on the shelf, actually on one of my book carts, I thought it was one of the Dell Abyss books, but it turns out it's just leisure. But um, I do dig that cover. So I definitely recommend this, unless you're going to be incredibly offended by some of the things that Santa and the elves and the Easter Bunny and all these characters uh, get up to. Um, it's just, it's a wild wild ride it's well written um it's reminiscent of edward lee in the type of story that it's telling uh not so southern as most of edward lee's stuff seems to be um as a matter of fact very much northern in parts of it because of course the north pole get it uh, <laughs> um so, yeah, I definitely recommend this. It is a wild ride. It's, um, and there, there is an afterword by the author, and he does talk about the fact that he doesn't understand why people would be offended since these are fictional characters. Uh, he says the closest you could claim to a non fictional character is Saint Nick, but of course, this is, this is the commercialized Santa Claus. Um, and the Tooth Fairy's not, you know, a religious figure. The Easter Bunny, while associated with a religious holiday, isn't a religious figure. So, uh, and I'm, I'm on his side with this. I don't know why. I mean, I do, I guess. Some people think Santa's special. Um, but generally, uh, I... I don't know why people would be offended. It's got a lot of great blurbs. Poppy Z. Bright, Brian Hodge, Norman Partridge. Blurb in this book, so don't just take my word for it. Um, Santa Steps Out, Robert Devereaux. It's a lot of wild, crazy, over-the-top, uncomfortable fun. Um, and there's uh, it's part of a trilogy. I don't think the other two books came out until Deadite Press was publishing the stories. The second one, if I remember correctly, is Santa Conquers the Homophobes. And I don't recall what the third one is. And I haven't read the other two. I've only read this one. Um, I would guess if this one's out of print from Deadite, then the others are as well. But I don't know. I didn't look into that. But I do recommend finding a copy of Santa Steps Out and reading it if you're into hardcore or splatter punk horror even though again it really doesn't get into horror for a while although there are some horrific things that happen um but th then it does get crazy um at the by the end so there you go santa steps out robert Devereaux, four out of five stars um question for this video are you easily offended by something like this are there sacred cows that you do not want to see used in this sort of way? Um, are there characters, real or fictional, that you don't like to see parodied, especially when it pushes the boundaries? Uh, for me... No, can't think of any. Um, as long as it's well-written and entertaining, I like to see stuff. I don't know how else to put that. Um, you know, I, I don't care about Santa and the Easter Bunny and all of that. If you want to make some crazy Superman parody or uh, Cthulhu parody, I'm trying to think of just things off the top of my head. Dracula parody, where they're doing crazy things. Um, as long as it's entertaining, then I'm on board. If it's entertained me, how am I going to complain about that? 
and there's nobody that I'm going to be like, you can't do that to that character. They're sweet and pure. How dare you have them down in the gutter? Um, that was me ranting. <laughs> um, yeah, at least I can't think of any off the top of my head. I just, I just don't think in those terms. Uh, the, the most insulting thing you can do is to tell me a bad story. That's the worst of it. Um, as long as, I guess, what would bother me, and this is, isn't even part of the question that I ask, I don't think. What bothers me is when, if someone says they're telling me a story of this character and they get the character wrong when they're not doing any type of parody or weird over the top thing but they're just I mean here's the easiest example not necessarily the best example but the easiest example is Man of Steel movie by Zack Snyder um he he wasn't portray. He's making a Superman movie, but he's not portraying Superman. Does that make sense? Um, see, and on the other hand, is Brightburn is essentially a Superman horror movie, but he's not Clark Kent. But he's essentially Clark Kent. I wonder if Warner Brothers had made that movie if they could have. I would have enjoyed it if it was. A Superman horror movie. But anyway, I sort of, I've gotten off track. But essentially there are no characters, uh, real or imagined, that um, I feel you can't parody, take to the extreme, as long as you're doing it in an entertaining and intelligent way. Uh, but what about you? <laughs> if you even understand my question, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on the Low Budget Review Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. All the usual YouTube stuff. If you care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is still at Rona5757. Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. And if you're on Blue Sky, I am at E.L. Smith. That's all I have for you. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.